If you've bought a set of brand new polos, they're probably wrapped up so the Velcro is on the outside, which is not how they can be put on the horse. So the first thing you want to do is make sure they're rolled correctly so they can be put right onto the horse's leg. To do this, you want to wrap the Velcro into the Velcro, so lay the Velcro flat against the other side of the Velcro, and then continue to roll up. And what I've done in this video is lay the polo across the back of the horse so it just gives you a flat surface to roll up. And once you reach the end of your polo, you can tuck the corner into the polo itself so it stays all nice and tucked and rolled up. Now this part's a little bit hard to describe so the visual may be he more helpful, but basically you want to wrap the flat part or lay the flat part against the front of the horse's leg and then wrap underneath the horse. So you want to bring the polo toward the underside of the horse and then wrap forward. And once you cover your or original start place once, you want to continue moving down, covering about half of the polo on the previous wrap. And my general rule of thumb for this is about four wraps down before starting the V cup part. Now the V part tends to kind of trip people up a lot and you don't really need it to be a dramatic V, you just want to cup the horse's leg. So you want to bring it down at an angle, pre like different from how you've been wrapping for the rest of the horse's leg, bring it down at an angle, scoop the horse's leg, and then bring it back up at that angle, and then continue wrapping straight like you have before. When you get back to the top of the horse's leg and you have extra polo, don't wrap back down. Just keep wrapping across the top under the knee so you'll eventually get to the Velcro. And if you have a lot left over, you might want to go back and redistribute the polo, but don't wrap back down once you've gotten back up to the knee. When you get to the back leg, it's the same general rule of thumb. You just want to remember that the back leg is going to be longer, so it'll take up more material. And a little trick that I find helpful is that you can tie the horse's tail in a knot so it doesn't get all wrapped up in your polo because it will get in the way. And with the back leg, you also want to make sure that the horse is standing square on the leg that you're wrapping. So if he's cocking that back leg or completely relaxed, just pull the tail so he pulls his balance back on that leg. Now when you go to take your polos off, it's the same thing as when you went to wrap them originally. Wrap the Velcro into the Velcro and wrap, once you get past the Velcro, just keep wrapping that way.